had a lot on my plate. I put in a lot of time into the NCAA tournament this past week. I've uh, done a lot of research. I've shot a lot of video and edited a lot of the blogs and I'm still kind of lagging behind, but I shot a lot of videos yesterday, Sunday, a couple on the uh, day two of round three, uh, you know, the finalization of the Sweet 16. And so, and then at the end of that, I analyzed the Indiana Temple game. So I decided to divide, divide my uh, going over the games played Sunday and and my analysis of the Indiana Temple game and and that's what you're gonna see in this vlog at the end is my analysis of the Indiana Temple game. So uh, it just give me a little bit of a break and let me catch up, allow me to catch up. So uh, so. But there are two pieces of news that I want to talk about really briefly before we cut to the club. And those two big firings uh, that took place in college basketball. Uh, not a surprise. I mean, tournament time, you get coaches who lose old jobs. Uh, ben Howells, uh, the head coach of UCLA Bruins, after 10 years, they fire him. I kind of like him. I love UCLA, though. And then... The one that hits, hits right here, I mean, I just love Tubby Smith and Minnesota fired Tubby Smith, which I expected. Um, I knew he he at least had to make the tournament, but I felt like he needed to get to the Sweet 16 to be able to keep his job, or even farther than that, and he just didn't. So uh, they fired him, so that was kind of expected. Uh, I knew at the beginning of the season he had to, they had to have a pretty good deal for him to keep his job, so uh, I feel really bad for Travis Smith. Uh, hopefully he gets back in the coaching. It'd be nice if Ball State hire him, but it, I just hope he gets back in coaching. I, I, like I've said, I think in previous vlogs, you can't beat Travis Smith. Travis Smith is just... Uh, I mean, I would absolutely love to work with him. He, he he just seems like such a grandfather figure. I don't know. There's just something about him. I, I would absolutely love to work under him and learn from him. I mean, he's just an all-around class act. And if he don't get back into coaching, college basketball is going to miss one of the best people on the planet. Um, but Toby Smith is just a good guy. Uh, and uh, it's just sad to see him be fired on Minnesota, but I mean, I don't know, what do you do? Uh, but anyway, I think that's it. So I'll, I'll just go ahead and cut to that club. Uh, and uh, I wish Tubby Smith the best of luck. And Holland from UCLA, I think he did a good job. Tubby Smith coached at Minnesota for six years. Didn't do too bad, um, but I mean, he brought Minnesota back. I mean, they were pretty bad off when he took over, but but he got canned anyway. But it's all was to it. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut. I'm gonna go ahead and cut to the club, and uh, this was my initial analysis of the IU Temple game. Um, tomorrow I'll go over, uh, well, at the end of this uh, clip, I think I say that, but tomorrow I'll go over Sweet 16. I will, uh, check out, uh, we'll go over how I did on my picks, and then I'll re-pick from the 16 now to the championship. But anyway, anyway, I don't want to delay this anymore, so here's the clip of me analyzing uh, the Indiana Temple game yesterday. So, here was the club. Then you have Indiana. Indiana went. Okay, so Indiana was down like with two minutes to go, 52 to 48. 
very unusual in the end, it's only scoring 48 points, but in tournament time you're going to expect that those numbers to go down, uh, because then the end is averaging like 80 points a game, but, but in tournament time, like I said, you expect them numbers to go down. Um, but in the end, I've been strong, scored the last 10 points of the game, uh, and one ended up winning by six, as much closer we want the score in the K2. And then, uh, uh, just the rebounding was horrible. Uh, just, they, they had all kinds of issues. Temple, okay, other than Louisville, Temple is the best defense I've seen out of a team all year long. Louisville, best defense. Louisville's defense is the best I've seen this season. Temple's defense is second best. Temple's, and I knew Temple would be tough. Selection Sunday, I seen the Indiana's region, and I seen the eight and nine seed. I seen North Carolina State. I seen Temple. My first response: Oh no, Temple. Uh, Temple's just always tough. I knew they'd be tough. They had some size, athletic, good uh, I, defensively. They were always, always top of the line defensively, and Indiana struggled. I guess I could briefly go over some of the team stats, maybe. Uh, Indiana did a good job. They didn't take too many throws, but I don't think they could. Temple's defense along the perimeter was awesome. Just defense in general, like I was telling you, very intense. Um, and we got... We tied in rebounds, but they killed us on offensive rebounds, 11 to 4. In the end, it got killed on the offensive glass. Um, and honestly, I thought they would beat right off the bat because of it. I mean, they they were just really giving up a lot of offensive rebounds. Turnovers, they had two turnovers within the first two minutes of the game. I knew, I just knew in the end it was going to have issues this game. They finished with 12 turnovers. Love to see that go down. Um, and Indiana didn't get to the line as much. They shot 16th corn, which is 80%. But but like I said, it's kind of tough to get to the line in tournament time. Um, the refs let the players play, but, but the thing is, there was a few calls I would have got teed up. I mean, Zell got clocked. I mean, I mean, he got slammed and they didn't call a foul. I just about flipped. <laughs> um, but Indiana held strong and if anybody wants to, wants to say, oh, Indiana ain't that good and now they definitely ain't going to win a championship. I mean, I, I, I think that's just ridiculous. You could go back to every national champion the last few years, and every one of those teams struggled and had games like this on the road to the national championship. So you can't count out in the end. I, I think this is one of the toughest games, uh, matchups they could have. Next week, Thursday, when we play Syracuse, it's a rematch of the 1987 national championship game. Um, I'm worried about Syracuse. They're big. They have size up front. And they're physical, pretty athletic. Um, so the matchup there might cause Indiana some trouble. Um, honestly, I almost think Indiana matches up better against Miami than Syracuse. Uh, but I think we got six inches of snow, something like that out. I just got a shovel to kind of slow down, but. Until tomorrow, uh, I'll go over my brackets tomorrow too, probably, and we'll talk about the Sweet 16, we'll talk about, uh, I guess in the next few days, this, this is what we'll do, we'll talk about Sweet 16, I'll examine my brackets, I'll re-pick the Sweet 16 now on, and who I think will win, and, uh, and then I'll preview the Indiana Syracuse game. Um, but until then, peace.